welcome to skincare queen youtube channel everybody in this video we are going to make our own moisturizing hand sanitizer and we are going to use a uh, DIY version 2.0 to do this if you don't know what this is all about uh, check the channel for DIY 2.0 this formula is about using uh, grams instead of using tablespoon or teaspoon so this moisturizing art sanitizer is going to help kill bacteria keep your hand clean and prevent it from foreign invader so what we need is what i highlighted here we need distilled water obviously we want water that's clean we're going to use isopropyl alcohol at, uh, I'm using seven I'm using 70% isopropyl alcohol I'm going to use distilled water and I'm going to use aloe vera gel I have aloe vera gel here I'm going to use this I'm using the five percent because we're making hundred gram our percent will be the same as the gram so we're going to use five gram of aloe vera gel which is also five percent we're using tea tree essential oil here because of this antibacterial uh, property so we're going to use one percent which is also one gram we're using zentam gum just to keep this together if you don't have zentam gum at home you can skip that but it's just that it's going to be watery but to keep it together to make it uh jelly we will need zentam gum but if you don't have zentam gum you can take this out we're going to use preservative in this video i will be using liquid jammed plus a preservative highly essential essential preservative if you are going to keep this hand sanitizer out of the fridge but if you don't have preservative you can skip you can skip this preservative part and add 0.5 to water if you don't have a uh, zentam gum you can skip this part and add that percentage to water uh, and also if you do not have tea tree essential oil, which i highly recommend is very good uh, you can skip that also, but I really recommend that you get that. If you don't know where to get that, I already have uh, a link in the description box below for where you can get it. Uh, you can get it from my Amazon affiliate link, and I get paid uh, a little commission from that. But just want to, this is a, a more t uh, disclosure for you, but you don't have to. But if you have to, you can use that to support me. So isopropyl alcohol, so if you don't have that, this is going, it's not going to really worth making. So you need, isop you need almost everything that I highlighted here, except if you want, if you don't mind it being watery, you can skip the Zentan gum. And if you want to keep it in the fridge, you can skip the preservative part. So also glycerin is very important because it's moisturizing. We want it to keep our hand, a bit to give put some moisture on our hand while making it or uh, while using it so please please use this a lot it's very important especially during this time that we have coronavirus you want to protect yourself you want to keep some probably in a in a squeeze bottle of this nature of anything when you're going out so you have it handy so as to protect you then we're going to i will be pouring everything into this kind of a uh, bottle so any bottle that you have any t any dispenser you can use that so let's jump right in and get started so the first thing we want to do is to weigh out so keep this uh, formula in place i'm going to remove it from the screen now So what we want to do now is to keep checking at our formula and weigh everything out. We we don't normally use tablespoon, teaspoon on this channel. We follow DIY 2.0, which was uh, invented by me, um, just to make DIY more special, more accurate, and more professional. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to weigh your xanthan gum. Take a little bottle, weigh your xanthan gum. Some of you are, can be asking me, what do you do? I'm a cosmetic scientist, so that's why this channel is a lot different from other DIY channel because I share my experience with you. I make things professionally, and that's what stands me out. And this is why you want to click the subscribe button now to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out on any video I make. So we're going to weigh out our Zantango on the list here. Don't worry, I have the... Um, the recipe also the DIY.20 recipe for this and the sanitizer 
in the description box below so you can take a look at it 0 0.5 gram of xanthan gum Then the next we want to do right now is to add our glycerin. On the list I have glycerin at 3 gram. So we're going to add glycerin at 3 gram. Don't worry, it can be a little over, that's okay. So you add the glycerin to xanthan gum then you're going to mix them mix both properly i have a steering rod here with me that's what i'm using if you want to get this type of steering rod i use glass almost for everything because easy to sanitize right so you mix the xanthan gum and glycerin together you set it aside that's the fourth part, first part then we're going to weigh our distilled water On this list I have 50 gram of distilled water so I'm going to waste 50 gram of distilled water. Perfect. Then we're going to add our isopropyl alcohol but hey you wait a little bit before you add the isopropyl alcohol. We're going to add, so let's weigh the water, we put it aside. Then we're going to weigh our essential oil. If you're using the essential oil, if you're using the essential oil, this uh, tea tree essential oil is very important, like I said, because of its antibacterial property. So alcohol and tea tree essential oil are the two functional, you know, antibacterial that we have. We also have aloe vera gel. So, we're going to take tea tree oil at one gram. So I have tea tree oil here. One gram. Then we're going to add our isopropyl alcohol, which is at 40 grams. So 40 grams of isopropyl alcohol. <coughs> I'm going to put this in a bigger beaker, be a big beaker. Just pardon me, I'll have to start all over again. <coughs> As you can see, the, the, the isopropyl alcohol solubilized the, the tea tree essential. You can see it was like uh, orange color or some like yellowish colors before now it's clear okay so we're going to put that aside then what else do we have on our list let's check mark what we have so far we have the distilled water we have the isopropyl alcohol then we add the f oh uh, and the tea tree oil we add the xanthan gum already we add the glycerin we're going to have this guy at the end the xanthan gum and the preservative at the hand. So what you want to do now is to take your take your water. Now we're going to add our aloe vera gel to it. Five gram of aloe vera. Gel. Five 
five gram of aloe vera gel. So I have five gram of my aloe vera gel inside the water. So you mix it very well. Okay, so and that's how we have everything. Let's just go through it again. Quickly we have the distilled water half, we have the isopropyl alcohol and the uh, Isopropyl alcohol and tea tree, it's here. Tea tree, here we have uh, distilled water and aloe vera gel. Here is the isopropyl alcohol and tea tree essential oil. Here we have the xanthan gum and the glycerin, and we are good to go. What is left now is the preservative. You can skip that pie if you don't have it, but I'm going to add it at the end. So let's let's go. So we have the, this here together. Now let's add the water and the alcohol blend I mean I mean the alcohol and tea tree essential oil so we mix together then we now is the time to add our xanthan gum and glycerin blend The essence of this is to give is to give our hand sanitizer a bit of a jelly structure. If you notice the if you notice it's not jelly enough, you can add a bit more of 0.5 xanthan gum. But for for this recipe, it's perfect. As you can see, it's a bit dry, right? So now at this stage, if you want to keep it out, you have to put you have to put your preservative. If you want to keep it out of the fridge, or if you're going to put this in the fridge, you don't need preservative. But I'm going to keep it out of the fridge, so I'm going to use preservative. I'm going to use Liquid Jamal Plus. It's a professional preservative that we use in skincare industry. It's not usually available almost everywhere. But if you, if you want to get it, I'll put it a link in the description box below for where you can get it. So now, the next time is to preserve our hand sanitizer to keep it from mold and bacteria. So I'm going to put 0.5% liquid gel plus. Okay, let's And that's it. And our moisturizing and sanitizer is all ready to go. And why you don't need too much preservative is because we use a lot of alcohol in the mixture. As you can see, it's very, very jelly right now. See? And this is good to go. Make sure you use it when you're going out. Use it. Have some. You know, keep some in your pocket. Take it in a, a, meal, a little you know make take a little when you're going out so that you know make sure you use it especially during this time that we have coronavirus you want to make sure you protect yourself so i'm going to add it here put it pour it here and this is 100 gram of moisturizing just not just a regular one it's highly moisturizing It can be used right away. If you have preservative in it, you don't have to put it in the fridge. But if you don't have preservative in it, you have to put it in the fridge to protect to protect it from mold and bacteria. So and this is our final product.
I'm going to use some so you see the moisturizing effect on my hand. Highly moisturizer, rising and it's very cooling on the skin. You can see it instantly hydrates your skin, your hand. And you can also use this to sanitize your desk, at office, at home. And this is the beautiful effect you get from this. All DIY, all everything we use here is all under twenty dollars and you know you can continue to use the rest of the product. Let me just do a quick recap so as to make us be on the same page. I use Zentan gum. <coughs> I use aloe vera gel. Okay. Zantan gum aloe vera gel. I use tea tree oil. I use isopropyl alcohol. I use glycerin. And finally, I use distilled water. Just make sure you watch the video again, watch the video again so as to get a good angle. And that's exactly what you get. Highly moisturizing, you know, hand sanitizer. It's very beautiful, very effective at killing germs. You can use it to moisturize, you know, your hand and also kill the jam to sanitize your hand. You can also use this to sanitize your desk or workspace or at home. Your uh, your table area uh, it's highly effective because it has 40 percent of 70 percent isopropyl alcohol and it's very 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 e effective i did not it won't dry out your skin just like the one the store-bought one because this has aloe vera gel it's highly you know very good antioxidant and a very good moisturizer and it's going to keep your hand all moisturized throughout the day thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel go ahead now click the subscribe button and click the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos on this channel we'll learn about the skincare i recommend great skincare product to you i only deal in the natural feed so if you hate toxic skincare product this is a channel for you if you want to learn how to take proper care of your skin and how to make simple home uh, ingredients or simple home uh, products all by yourself make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that notification icon now before you close the window uh, to be notified anytime i upload new videos thank you so much for watching